Despite the gloomy European business report that they're feeling in China, there are still some signs that business confidence may be turning around in the Eurozone. Economic morale grew more than expected for the month of May. Many of those surveys said the worst of the crisis is behind them. The European Commission said that confidence rose to 89.4. That beat economists' forecasts. Greek sentiment climbed to a five-year high, while Portugal and Italy saw stronger-than-expected numbers as well. Now, for more on these, we're now joined by Daniel Hansen, an economic researcher at the American Enterprise Institute. Welcome back to the show, Daniel. Um, Europe has been odd lately. You know, one day we get good news, the next day we get not so good news. This confidence situation in Europe, is confidence overall getting better? Well, I think what we're seeing out of Europe is that businesses are starting to think that this crisis just can't possibly go on forever, that there has to be some sort of shoots of growth and recovery that are entering into the economy. Is it fatigue? Are they just tired of being gloomy? I think that's part of it. And the other part of it is that the sort of acute phase of the crisis, where there's these histrionics every week over bond yields and those sorts of things, has really died down since the ECB stepped in to buy bonds last summer. And so I think going forward, we're going to see less of sort of the immediate strains and more of the long-term challenges that you're right, So the crisis is over, the patient's out of the emergency room, but is the patient, I guess, mentally, I, 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 <laughs> do they feel, do consumers there feel better about themselves today than they say, say, six months ago? I, I do think they feel better about themselves than six months ago, but they're starting to realize that they have many larger long-term challenges that are maybe even bigger than the crisis they just came out of. I mean, that doesn't sound good. It, it sounds like what you're saying is they, they're feeling good right now because of possibly the drugs or whatever's happening, and then they're going to go back into depression again in another six months to Yeah, that's months. a good way to think about it, especially long-term unemployment and youth unemployment are going to be big problems for Europe over the next decade, and it's not clear that they have a good plan to deal with them. Do businesses feel the same way as what you just described? Businesses are having a really hard time getting access to credit, to innovating, to starting up new industries and those sorts of things. So I think that they're feeling more confident than they were six months ago, but they have some big challenges But, but forgive me, I look at the stock market, mm -hmm. I look at the bond market, I look at the euro. Those all indicate to me that things are pretty good. So why the disconnect between what the market is doing and how businesses are feeling? Well, I think when you look at the underlying indicators, it, it makes it look even more uh, worse than it was, right? So you look at things like whether or not retail sales are up or whether or not purchasing is up, and you see that those numbers are all still down. And they're going to continue to be down so long as the unemployment rates are as high as they are. The rest of the world. Europe, a big investor into China. Mm -hmm. And in that last report, we were just talking about how this is affecting Europe's plan for, for building up their multinational firms when you're talking about Asia. How big of an impact does this have? Well, I think that you're going to see more European investment heading to China as the investment climate in Europe continues to be bad. On the other hand, what you see is uh, a lot of investors from Japan jumping ship and moving to Europe. So there's sort of this strange flow of funds right now from Japan to Europe back to China that maybe will have some interesting ramifications moving forward. This, this, we talked about the, the Germany jobs issue, the mm -hmm. unemployment situation in Europe. How much of an impact does that have on sort of how people feel? Well, I think that uh, there's sort of a new normal in Europe with these extremely high unemployment rates. And leaders are, trying to re are starting to understand how big these challenges are. But it's not clear that they have any actual plan to address these challenges or to get Europe what should, to What should the plan be? What should the plan be? Well, they need to introduce more flexibility into their labor markets, make it easier for businesses to hire, fire, adjust wages, get new job training programs. Those are all big political there's challenges. There's too many rules is what you're saying. That's right. They're very, there's some huge political challenges there that aren't going to be fixed anytime soon. All right, looking forward over the next six to 12 months, do you, do you, do you feel optimistic about Europe? Well, I Because I don't sense that you are, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to let you answer the question. I think that Europe is starting to turn a corner, where they're starting to realize that they have to focus on growth more than austerity, that they have to focus on reform more than social support. And once they start to do that, then it's possible that they might start introducing reforms that can get them past crisis and back on the path to growth. Does it matter which companies are doing, uh, countries, I should say, are doing better, whether it's Germany or France? I mean, originally we were worried about Southern Europe, but we know that the problems are bleeding into Northern Europe, mm -hmm. specifically Germany. Do you worry about that? Well, of the 27 countries in the EU, 25 of them are supposed to have uh, contracting economies this year. That's a big problem, especially when a country like Germany has been footing the bill for the crisis so far. It's going to become even more difficult when problem countries crop up, like Portugal or Greece, to resolve those countries if a country like Germany is in recession. Daniel Hansen, American Enterprise Institute, always good to have you uh, join us and help us better understand what's happening there in Europe. Thank you Thank very you. much.